Hello, I'm Dr. Mitchell Grayson, an associate professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin in the Division of Allergy and Immunology, a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, and a board-certified allergist. I'd like to speak to you today about allergy testing. There are several things your allergist might do if you are sensitive to something in your environment. The most common test is the skin test. Skin testing involves using a small plastic device to prick a small amount of an allergen onto your skin. An allergen is something to which you might be allergic, such as ragweed or dust mite. The epicutaneous test, which is what this is called, does not break the skin and is not painful. Your allergist will look for the development of redness and swelling, basically a hive, at the site of testing within 15 to 20 minutes. A positive control, something to which everybody will react, and a negative control, something to which no one should react, will also be included in your test. If your epicutaneous testing does not identify the allergens to which you are allergic, or you're being tested for a drug or venom allergy, you will likely have a second test called an intradermal skin test. This involves using a syringe to put a small amount of allergen just under the skin. The readout of this test is the same as with the epicutaneous test, the development of a hive at the testing site. Sometimes it is not possible to do a skin test, or you may have a food allergy that your doctor is following. In these cases, a blood test for serum-specific IgE, which is the allergic antibody, may be performed. This involves drawing a small amount of blood and having the lab look to see if you have that allergic antibody against that specific allergen. For those with delayed type allergies, such as a nickel allergy, you may have a patch test performed. This involves putting small patches on the back with various compounds, such as nickel in them. After two to three days, you will be asked to come back and the sites will be examined for the development of redness and swelling. With all of these tests, it's important to make sure that your symptoms correlate with exposure to the allergens for which you test positive. Otherwise, it is possible the test is simply showing a false positive. This can especially be a problem with food skin tests and blood tests for IgE. Now that you know what the types of tests are, you know what to expect when you visit an allergist. These tests are fairly painless. The major problem is itching with the skin test, but this can easily be managed and does not last long. However, because there is a risk of a severe reaction, we are putting the things to which you might be allergic into your skin or onto your skin. It is important to have these tests performed by an allergist. Allergists are trained to quickly and efficiently treat any reactions. So, if you have symptoms of allergic disease, I would strongly encourage you to visit your local allergists. We have the tools and training to identify what is making your allergies act up, and we have many, many treatment options that can help you get rid of these symptoms. So there is no reason to suffer from allergies. Go see your allergist today.